So Vathala think deeply, and he came to the idea of creating a magical rooster that will help the people against Spaniards. Only those people with a good heart will be helped by the magical rooster named Sari. Sari can identify good people and use magic. Sari is immediately immersed as a beautiful rooster with a beautiful feathers. From heaven, he went to the earth with a mission to help and protect the people against colonizer. He found Raha Ida Fatra, the leader of Maranao tribes, and told him not to trust the Spaniards and created weapons against them. He also told Raha, when will the Spaniards will attack so they can prepare? With the help of Sari, the Maranao tribe defeated the Spaniards. Raha in the Fatra is happy and thankful because of Sari. Marana tribes live in peace and the spirit of the magic resource is present with them. But as time goes by and the world becomes more organized, the Marana forgot about the magic rooster. After many years, Sari continues to help good people. And one day, he came across a man named Manny. Manny is kinda and hard working, but he became addicted to sabong or cockfighting. He is a loving husband with two cute kids. He has a good life until he was influenced to play sabong. He easily became addicted to it. He begins to always argue with his wife and angry with his kids when he loses in sabong. He begins taking care of many roosters and uses them in sabong. Sari pretends to be a normal rooster and goes to the backyard of money. Sari so many roosters. Other roosters talk to him and ask why he is here. He should be here because he will be used in cockfighting and he will lose, he will be a tinola. He said it's okay, he is used in cockfighting and he is from another cockfighter but he ran away because his owner is bad and starved him. Money goes to the backyard and sees the new rooster and holds it. He said, wow, a blessing from heaven, I will use this in the next event of Savon. He didn't know. It. It is literally a blessing from heaven that will change his life permanently. He practices it with other roosters and indeed good in Sabong. He plans to bet all his money for the rooster. When the day of the event finally happened, Manny is excited and enthusiastic. He leaves so early that his kids and wife are sleeping. He gets the rooster and goes to the place where the Sabong will take place. When he will give all his money for the bet, the rooster suddenly faded. Money shot. It's really hard, but it's not moving. He rushed to go home to get another rooster. But he saw her wife waiting for him. And she told him to rush over. He asked, what happened? And she answered, our son has a high fever and we need to go to hospital right now. They rushed their son to the hospital. Luckily, money still have all his money to pay for the bills and the medicines. He is guilty that he chose to focus on Saba than to his kids and wife. He realized now that the family is more important than his addiction to Saba. He also became thankful to the rooster because it prevented him from betting all his money. When his kid is finally okay, they go back to their house. Money tries to find where the rooster is, but it's not there. He finds it everywhere, but it's still missing. He wanted to thank the rooster for helping to realize that the being a dick in Sabo will not do any good to him. Sari is really happy that once again he helped someone and changed his life. Manny now has a peaceful and amazing life away from the Sabo and he found out from his grandfather that their ancestors is the great Raha in the Patra of the Marana tribes.